matter on your weight class? Oh no, no, I don't think the style matters. I think the weight itself matters on you. Well, um, basically, when, so I come. I'm naturally. I used to box as an amateur. I used to box at first sixty. I was a very big um, young kid at age of fifteen. I turned, you know, uh, amateur. I think fifteen, sixteen it was. But I was very big, and uh, I used to do a lot of um, weights. So I like my weight, and uh, I was good. You know, I was obviously. But uh, you know, as you turn pro, um, as you, as you turn elite, you got guys coming in from heavyweight lower. So I was when I went to fifty. Uh, as I as I went to the senior amateurs. You know, I knew people were losing weight and uh, I had to lose weight to come to 56 because I knew the competition could be more harder. People right. are losing. So people are working extra hard to lose that weight and to come in faster and stronger. So people that was coming from 50, uh, coming, people that was at 56, they were probably coming from 62, 61 and had to do the same. And with the pro, it was different. And to the pro, same people doing the same thing from 65, they come into 50, 51. And I was thinking, I got to do it because when they come in that low, they carry on that power. They they bring in that power with them. Right. So, yeah, because when when we when when I just turned pro, um, I think the first sparring we were sparring everyone almost to see what weight category we're gonna go to, and I think uh, one of the sparring partner we had at that time was Archie Sharp. Obviously, I just want to turn pro. We didn't know what weight it was gonna be, and uh, I sparred Archie Sharp, and he looked massive, and he was he's a fighter fifty six as a pro. Right. Okay. And uh, he obviously, had, he was experienced. He had about seven, eight fight, I think, at that time. And I just turned pro. So we sparred him, and then he, he hit me with a shot. And I, like, all the shot was solid. And I was thinking, whoa. So me and my team sat down. We were like, listen, people are coming from higher. And he's, he was walking around at 62, 63. Mm. And I was around 50. Being normal fit, like coming gym daily by day, I was 56, 57. And, that like five to, six kilo matters yeah, a lot. Yeah, so it's like you have to drain yourself to the lowest to carry that weight. And so okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, we had to. That's interesting. Yeah. And then, how quickly uh, do you have time to rehydrate? So, so it depends, once the weigh in yeah. happens. So it depends if you, if it's a title fight, um, you normally have a weigh in one day before the fight, so you got about twenty four hours. And how much weight can you put on in them twenty four hours? If you do it properly, you can put on about five six kilo. Whoa. Yeah. Water weight or water weight. Okay, yeah. and it how much does that help you? Helps you a lot. I like. It just means that there's more power but behind coming. Right, you need the right, you know, nutritionist and dietitianist. So it's not just go for a KFC after. Yeah, you are. And, and well, we go. I mean, we go. With, we go with Nando's. Nando's, Nando's, got plugged. If Nando's want to sponsor, here he is. All the vibes go Nando's. I think it's, it's they just, they, they, you know, it's, it's, it's like meat. It's not red meat, you know. It's easy to digest. Yep. Grilled. And grilled, yeah. So it's not oily. It doesn't, it doesn't make you slower. Okay. It's good, it's good stuff. So. What um, sides? Sides. <laughs> mm, I have mashed potato a bit. You know, a bit of carbs. You need yes. A bit of carbs too. But, so when you're cutting weight, do you have to cut your carbs? Yeah, you gotta cut. Uh, well, it depends on on that. We get a fight. You cut carbs a lot. To be just before you weigh in, you have to cut. Because that's why, like, you see people like Ricky Hatton. Like, as soon as he ended his career, that's it, ballooned. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a lifestyle. You no, know, it, it it's hard when you're in a camp. Obviously, you're trying to first cut as much as you can to to get to to what weight you need to fight at. So I'll be fighting at fifty six because I know the from fifty six to fifty two. It's, I'm gonna get rid of the water weight, so um, and keeping maintaining at fifty six, you have to cut fizzy drinks and all of that. Um, and you know, the longer you fight at a weight, do you try to grow into that weight? If that makes sense. So, yeah. like, instead of oh, I've I've just lost water now, I've got made the weight. Are you trying to go well? Let me stay at fifty six and be muscular as possible in this sort of weight. Is, yeah. is that the goal or? Well, the goal is to be the sh stay stronger, stronger. So we, what we did, we increase. So as we reach fifty six, we increase the water weight now. We, uh, we you know we increase the water level. So we drink a lot, of, a lot of water um, during the next two three weeks that we got towards the weight uh, yeah. weighting. So we increase the water weight so much, and then. We increase and you know we try to stay fifty six with the water that we're increasing. So we eat less, but we increase the water to maintain fifty six. Mm -hmm. So as soon as, we, as soon as we hit the fight week, that's when we start getting rid of the water. Um, okay. That helps it. That helps you to get rid of the water. And then uh, yeah, as soon as we do the weigh in, we've got big water with electrolyte in. Yeah. Smash it. Wicked. And eat. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, and wow. The what a science! Will... What science behind it? 
is your diet any different in terms of like these days I think everyone's starting to get bloated yeah. when they eat certain foods all these GM genetically modified and stuff do you eat just the normal chicken or do you have like organic chicken or do you have like special food that's natural or something or how do you concentrate on that or what or does your dietitian tell you no uh, well we, we we've got a lot of vitamins pills and that but we don't eat, like i focus on during the, the the four weeks or three weeks of diet that i'm on a strict diet i focus well vegetable a lot but they, again they're all you know, chemical, they're not organic. Yeah. It's hard to get the organic unless you go to an organic shop. But mm-hmm. how long, you, I'm, like, you're going to be so busy. It's hard. I've just come from Crete two days ago. That's why I'm so brown. Yeah. But um, they've had vegetables there and they had chicken there. And the chicken, the size of chicken was yeah, different. Was. And we was going like horse riding. And so you saw the animal yeah. chicken um, around you and yeah. stuff. And you was yeah. like, that's what I call a chicken. Exactly. And so when you're eating, you're like, now I feel, I, feel like, yeah, I, I didn't even have any of my like vitamins. So I come in the UK and I'm running and then doing weight training, yeah. whatever I do. But I have like, you know, my A to Z, my, oh, yeah. my cod liver oil tablets, yeah, yeah. you know, all of these other little iron, bit of magnesium, whatever I need, I feel, I feel good. Over there didn't have no, no, no. N- none of that, just vitamin E from the sun. Exactly. Yeah, good, good strength. And the food was different. And it was just like, yeah, try this, try this beef or try this. It's, it's just been recently, we've just cut oh, yeah, that yeah, and, exactly. and it's there. Yeah. Whereas UK, you know, it's Bloody, you see it coming out of a truck and truck, even yeah. you don't think don't know how long, it's been how there. long has that been there, frozen yeah. for frozen, and he's yeah. carrying it over the shoulder and he's coming in and then they're butchering it and then you don't know how long it's behind that glass yeah. like exactly. you really don't bro that, so that's why that's why we have to take the, the a lot of pills what's um, your stack can i ask you what sort of vitamins does a boxer take so, to keep his well, energy I, level high so, I, I mean so i what i do we get injection of um um vitamin no vitamin b vitamin b okay uh, so for blood increase the blood so we do it every week okay we do that uh when we're in the camp not right now i'm not doing it but uh when we're in the camp we do that a lot of vitamin d vitamin c almost every all the vitamins you, you buy all the vitamins we take it daily by daily so you take one the one that are, the pills that are you take one a day you take one but if you take the ones that are taken twice a day you take twice uh same as cod, uh, cod liver oil fish joints oil, yeah, everything that, uh, you have to take so because the foods are you know they are chemicalized they're not yes they're all genetically modified they're not, so giving, you they're not the, giving you the full vitamin that's why mm. you've got the nutritionist telling you you need to take this so of course if, maybe if i'm in a different country where everything is organic then i think we, it will be more helpful uh with the food the food will be more easier you don't need to take the pills i think but because we're here so we have to take the pills do you think you can spot talent straight away you're gonna look at a little 15 year old now would you be able to look and go this guy's made for boxing or not or is it hard work over time or is it you've got to have a little spark about you and then go i can put that shit with on boxing sports. uh with boxing there's, there's, there's you know you can find talent you can see a few talent you can spot on a talent straight away you can say well this guy's got talent or this guy and then you could you can see a talent differently and then you can see a heart differently so I don't know if he, the, the coach maybe see a heart in me. I just, you know, I just went. Because there wasn't skill, nothing. There was no skill for me. Mm. There was no talent, but I just knew how to punch mm. up. Uh, and then I think maybe see the heart. And because I've seen, I've seen great talents. There are some great talents and um, the pro, and they haven't done much. And the amateurs, they've done a lot. Like I've seen them get loads of titles in the amateurs. Mm-hmm. But when they went to the pro, it's a whole different. They haven't achieved much to their full potential. And I don't know. It's just... If somebody's, um, I think you need both in the, in, in the boxing. You need both. You need talent, uh, but talent can get beaten by a hard work. Mm-hmm. Hard work is a major, major, and hard work can be done by having a big heart. Can you overtrain? You can overtrain, of course. Yeah, it's not good though. Overtraining causes an injury. That's where the injury comes mm-hmm. from. So somebody's like a little bit lost right now. Then they're fourteen, fifteen, and they're like, they're a bit angry with life. Life hasn't given them the best cards. Mm-hmm. Maybe parents let them down, friends let them down, and they're just thinking, oh, why does my life have to be like this? But they're angry and they, yeah. they get in trouble maybe with the police or with the wrong people. What would you say boxing can do for somebody? Well, boxing can take that aggression off him, can get, you know, can discipline him. Um, you know, once the good thing about boxing is it teaches you that you're not the strongest. There's always someone stronger there than you. It disciplines you, it humbles you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it, it just it just wisen you up a bit, you know. It, it give you another source of knowledge and logic. 
I mean, a lot of people are missing logic nowadays, but <laughs> logic is very important, you know. Um, and then it just kind of opens up certain thing to you as a human being, certain logics that you know what I'm a human, I've got two hands, but there's others out there. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not the strongest. I'm just a normal guy, and it kind of humbles you down. That you're not, you know. I when I went to the to the gym as I as I progress, I see guys are very good. You're smaller than me, bigger than me, younger than me, and it was so different. So it teaches you many things. Yeah, but yeah, definitely mm-hmm. helps. I'll, I I would recommend any anyone that's going through hard mm-hmm. in life. I think boxing is the best. Takes so much anger and and stress off you. Mm-hmm. Incredible. It just relaxes you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And it makes you feel like you've done something. With your yeah, brain. exactly. Kind of. You know what it does? Because you know, what, if you're mentally drained, if you're mentally drained, then you go have so much stress in your life. Mm-hmm. Boxing kind of remotivate your energy in a way. Mm-hmm. When you, when you go boxing, yeah, yeah, it's cool, you're punching, you might not have that mentality, but someone's out there and you scream, come on, you can do it, you can do it, it pushes you, it gets that energy, that sparkle back in your body, back up, it re-energizes you. you, it's just, the community of boxing is so good, it's the surrounding mm. of it, the smell, <laughs> nice smell, blood, sweat, yes. but it's nice, you know that you're in a real dark place, and it, it, it's, just, it's good, I think the best sport, Killingtown, yeah. yeah, down How there we used to all? do it. You know, like not nothing like you. No, no, you just yeah. discipline. Just after work, yeah. you want to go and do something a little bit sparring. That's you know, good. nothing compared to you guys. But it's just good. Like I understand everything yeah, you're saying. Yeah. That adrenaline. And the I've done something today, and yeah. you know, you you kiss and make up with everybody you exactly. spar with. You're like, thanks for that, bro. Like, or you, you spar so many times with one guy, and you think you so-and-so you got me yeah, you got yeah. me and then there will be one time that you focused and you dreamt about it that when you get in the ring with that person you make him miss, miss yeah. from the thing that he was succeeding with because yeah. i know exactly how you were and it'll go for you and you'll, you'll move you'll move you'll move and then uh, he's getting frustrated That's like it, yeah. why couldn't i get him and you're just like yes this yeah, this is what i wait for. i know i can beat you i just didn't have the right yeah, strategy. strategy i didn't exactly. have that key when you get some more keys and then they level up again and then you have to <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah, like i totally i love that sort of yeah. that sweaty smell with gloves and stuff so now we just go to the gym and we just do the pads mm. i'm nearly 40 so i'm like i'm not i don't want to take no hey, you young stuff. Man, you look younger than me <laughs> no, bro, no, bro. Look, when you're hey, happy that's the main thing you, you love what you do you you good for your family you work hard you're honest that's it this is the result that's it, 100%. When you're cheating people and you're angry your face becomes like yeah, that bro. Exactly. no you're right 100 percent. no 100 percent. that's all we are right. we're real right. when i ask What's been your biggest loss or failure? My biggest loss or fa- my biggest loss with my mum, you know, mm. uh, losing my mum. My she was young. She was uh, fifty-two years old. Wow, too young. And um, you know, she had the cancer, and it was it was crazy. And, you know, when I found out, I was in so much pain. I was like, uh, emotionally, I, was, I broke down, man. I was just like, you know, and then they give the only uh, the doctor gives her like six months. When she, they they diagnosed her with cancer, and then we had to do everything as a family, as a brother, to get her treated, get the right treatment, and we treated her. She 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 survived for two years, and then she passed away, and it was like it was just it broke all of my brother's heart, man. Mm-hmm. And my dad, you know, my dad's older older than my mom by like fifteen years, but um, you know, he's alone, but he's a good man. Uh, but it's hard for him, you know, mm-hmm. it's different. Well, well done to you guys, man. From Thank six you. months to let two, her last yeah. two years, that's a massive achievement. Yeah, we, we you know, when we find out, we, we like, listen, money's nothing. We just have to do everything privately. Everything. And that's something money does still, give yeah. you. That's money the, does yeah, give yeah, you yeah, that, yeah. like, if you didn't have nothing, you got to let me live on benefits, you would have had to accept that. Yeah, but yeah. it gives you a place where I can help yeah, exactly, people with exactly. good. It's not that's just the, evil, no, right?